what is up hopefully you guys are having a wonderful day back with some more final fantasy 16 gameplay for you and today i'm going to be going over what i personally want for my wish list for final fantasy 16 dlc if it ever gets made now this says right now spoilers obviously for people who haven't played and beaten the game so without further ado let's get right into it now some of these ideas i have heard from other people so i've kind of taken them some of them you know a little mix of the two and then the one at the end is the one i personally want to see so that's my own personal dlc thing so Without further ado, let's go right into it. One thing I did here, and I think this is a cool idea, and I would really like to see this, is I like to see an icon battle mode. Pretty much where you have all the icons, you can play as any of the icons, and you can fight, you know, whether it's in a computer, or even have where you can play against other people, like your friends or something, or maybe even have like two-on-two -two battles, not just one-on-one, -on -one, but, but just a way to... Um, fight as all the icons and see how they would control and move. I think that'd be really cool. The next thing that I'd really like to see as DLC is just the fact that I feel like we need more expansive hunts. And hunts that are not just simple. I think the hunts are kind of a little bit underwhelming in the main game. I just feel like there seems to be more exotic hunts that take longer to do. Maybe you gotta go to multiple places. These are kind of just nonchalant about it because there's a lot of things in this game that aren't in here that we see in other final fantasy games like well technically a tonberry well if you don't believe that one character kind of is a tonberry wink wink but we don't see a cactar um gilgamesh is a big one i obviously love to see him i can only imagine him in this game but just more expansive hunts but i may piggyback off of this later on in this video because i feel like i have a perfect part to do that in because maybe it's the reason why you don't see some of those things but Hold off for that for now. Next thing a DLC I like to see. Now I'm normally a person that's not a big fan of going backwards in time for DLC. I, I just don't like that. I'm a guy who likes to move forward. I'm not that, you know, prequel um, beforehand thing. I'm more moving forward. But if you have to go backwards and tell some stories, because there are some interesting stories I feel like need to be in the main game that aren't, and they involve you know a couple of these scenarios i'll pick these two scenarios i've heard these the most and they're the ones that make the most sense obviously one of them is going to be joshua and yote and the other one is going to be the dynamic between barnabas uh, benedicta and sid i'll start with joshua and yote first i just feel like i just like to see not just because i like to see more yote because i think he's one of the most criminally disappeared character in this whole game but i just like to see how they met up what got into a connection with each other how long had they been with each other and all the struggles they had that we don't see that are mentioned off screen because as i said i'd love to see yote a lot more we don't which i think is a crime and like see her dynamic with joshua and see how these two match up because i kind of see these two in a way that i see clive and jill just an inseparable duo that will do everything for each other but see for their perspective and i feel like that's a perspective that would really be interesting. And if they have to go backwards with a story to tell something, this would be one I would like to see. The other one, as I mentioned, it would be Barnabas, Benedict, and Sid. Just because I'd like to see how that dynamic started. How did these three meet each other? Um, we kind of see it a little bit with Sid and Benedict, but how did Barnabas get thrown into Mitch? How did they all initially like and follow each other and what eventually broke them all up to what we see in the, um, the main game? I would love to see that because I feel like the problem with all these characters is that they end too early before these tales are told. Like, Benedicta, obviously, in my opinion, dies way too early while showing this sequence, which makes you think, man, there was so much more to show, but they just didn't. And then, you know, Sid, how he tells some tales of his past, but just this whole how they get hooked up with Barnabas. And maybe we'll see a side of Barnabas we didn't see um, that we only saw in this game. Because I feel like Barnabas was a really compelling character maybe before he just completely followed in and bought into all ultima and i thought it'd be a good chance to see that too but just see their dynamic and all three of them and what eventually led to separating all of them in the end and the tragedy of that i feel like that's something that i couldn't love to see that would go backwards in time but as i said i don't like dlc that goes backwards because i want to move forward i want to i want post game dlc and not just dlc i like an expansion pass and this is what i would want an expansion pass in the side quest price list, one of the things that Jill mentions is that when this is all over, she'd like to, you know, spread her wings and set sail and go somewhere outside the twin side and visit other places. Because, you know, the whole um, world is not just Valestia. You know, it's bigger than that, a lot bigger. And there's a lot we don't know. 
And to me, I would like to have post-game DLC where you can actually play as Jill. Jill's the main person. Not that you can't control other characters, because I like to be able to control other characters. But where she just sets sail. She goes, you know, wants to leave the twin side. Just wants to go out and do something post the game release. Show how she, um, you know, moves on from, you know, the tragedy of Clive. Or however you see that all event coming. But one of the things I want to see is I want her to set sail. Maybe have Mid ride the ship. But I want to see her set sail, and the person I want to see her accompany with is Yote, ironic enough. And don't ask me why I feel this, but I just feel like Yote and Jill would get along so well. Because I think both of them could bond with each other. Bond with, you know, coming over to terms of what happened to the brothers. Obviously, Yote looked after Joshua, and Jill looked after Clive. And how would they react, you know, how would they get over that, you know, regardless of how you feel the fate of either one of them is. But obviously, at that time, they probably don't know 100%. But the point is, is that... How do they move on from that? I like to see them go to another place, another island or land, and travel there on boat. Maybe, you know, Gav or the uncle come along with them and just have some type of, you know, brand new adventure. Then moving on. Maybe they're trying to find new land to settle that's not been blighted. Maybe they're just trying to move past that and just find a new place to settle down at. And my thing is, you know, find a whole completely new different land in which they can just explore and Maybe that's how they answer the unanswered questions of, like, you know, what happened to certain things or why certain things are not in the game. Like I mentioned, you know, Gilgamesh or a Cactar or a Tonberry. Maybe these quests or unique missions are unique to this specific land they find while sailing that is completely cut outside of the world that they've been a part of. People have mentioned, hey, you know, how are they going to do post-game kind of about magic? Well, who's to say that some areas aren't, you know, follow the same rules as that? You know, we only know Ballastia. We don't know a lot of things outside the main world. The world is a very big place. I mean, look at our own life, for goodness sakes. I mean, who's to say they can't write up things? And maybe they even explain, like, what? Maybe they explain, like, Leviathan the Lost. Like, maybe that's where, well, that's why you don't see Leviathan, because it's not in Ballastia. It might be south. I'd like the, a, a new area, which it's, like, just basically a whole, like, I'd say a tropical place, like a really tropical, exotic looking place and has completely different enemies, different type of people that have no connection to Valestia at all and, and like follow their own rules. I like to see that and just have like a Gillette adventure with Yote and, you know, mid there and you have Gav and maybe that's the story, just the people in the hideout just finding a new place to live and maybe some of them stay back in the old place, but some people want to go on the ship, just go on a adventure to get away from you know, the tragedy and all the drama left by the twin side. And I can see that easily working because I just feel like that'd be cool. And, and also maybe you can have a unique type of, you know, battle system. Maybe you can swap between characters um, and each people have their different things. Maybe they find a different way to use unique abilities in this new land. Like, yes. you know, the possibilities are endless. You could do so many things. But I just want to have a lot of closure and a satisfying end point for a lot of these characters. So I just feel like when the game ends, it just kind of abruptly ends. It doesn't give a satisfying conclusion to a lot of these characters because we never get a sense of what they do afterwards. And having a whole adventure without necessarily having Clive there to basically not say that he held things down, but everything was so Clive this and Clive that. I like to see these characters interact without having Clive in the way. How would it go? As I said... Jill and Yote, I think they would be best friends, and they could bond over the whole Joshua and Clive thing. Um, and then maybe see Gav, you know, maybe take some more leadership role. We can see the uncle, how he reacts to it. We can have so many things. And as I said, we could have maybe an answer to Leviathan, maybe some other um, icons that were outside of this whole thing. You, know, you don't know. Like, there's so many endless possibilities they could do. But I just feel like that I want in an expansion pass, and I want to see that. And... Also, I just like to see this a whole exotic environment, as I said, for like a tropical like paradise and new enemies, new um, encounters, unique missions and stuff, and a lot more closure to these characters outside just the main character. And obviously, we're gonna have Tor go along for the ride too. So, you know, just something we can honestly do. But I know you're also thinking, hey, are we ever gonna address the real elephant in the room? And I think you guys know what I'm gonna talk about. And that's the whole Clive and maybe a little bit Joshua element on the side. Yes, I want the game to answer this because, once again, if you haven't already checked why I don't like the ending of Final Fantasy um, you can check it out, link in the description below. But, yes, I don't like ambiguous endings for 100-hour JRPGs. Give us an answer. Regardless of what it is, just answer it, you know. Maybe he's alive, maybe he's not. Maybe they're both alive, maybe they're both dead. Maybe one's alive, maybe one's dead. Regardless, just give an answer. You know, people are 
are going to be left unsatisfied with that. You know, if it's a sad ending, fine. If it's a happy ending, fine. But give an answer. Don't give no answer and give evidence for both sides. You know, maybe you get that reunion we wanted to see. Maybe you get that double reunion we wanted to see. Um, you know, because even though, you know, you can say whatever you want, I, I will admit, if I do see Joshua and Clive somehow still alive and reunite with Jill and Yote, I will admit, I'll get a little emotional on that. But give an answer regardless. And maybe that happens at the end of the expansion pass. But nonetheless, that is it. That is my opinion. I want to know your guys' opinion. What type of DLC do you want to see for Final Fantasy 16? Leave it in the comment section down below. But thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. And hopefully I can see you guys back on the next one. Thank you, and I'll see you all later. Peace.